Boa sorte, ladies and gentlemen. This is. So, I'm using the Stark AR on Thunder. I failed a trade up. I was trying to get the MK46 uh, primary, but I ended up with a Stark AR, and I figured, eh, why not just use it? Um, yeah, so I'm rocking the S41 loadout on Thunder. Not sure how I feel about it just yet, you know, I'm just kind of like on the fence and we're just repairing this DV by hand. Oh man, it's, you know, it's just one of those weapons that's just really freaking strong if you can land headshots, but yeah, it's just by like principle, man. I don't know if I can be using a, a burst rifle weapon, even if it's good. Oh shit. So, ah, oh, 20 seconds. So yeah, uh, the loadout comes with, let's see here, oh, Exploded Dendron, Spares, and what was the last one? Focus, I believe? Very good Stark loadout. If you're gonna have a Stark loadout on Thunder, I would highly suggest using this one. Unfortunately, I'm just not a burst rifle kind of guy. I struggled really hard in this match. Um, fortunately, my last recording totally screwed up because my mouse DPI just went haywire. I should probably back up. I hear an airstrike. Alright. Come on. Come on up. Look at, look at all of them just hopping around and stuff. Nice. Just gotta like, you know, use the pipe scope here. Kind of ding people. Come on. Come on. Alright, never mind. I'm scared. Where's the ammo stations? There it is. Alright, let's try something. Let's try throwing a freaking conch grenade and see if we can make this dark AR work. There you go. Did it work? They all just ran away. Man, I can bring down so many of them to really low. The Stark AR will do for uh, will do 18 damage a bullet to the body, which will double up to 36. And if you do a land all three rounds, all headshots, it'll do a maximum of 108 damage. Like it's just really crazy. But it's just like if you can land all those shots, it, it, it would. Piece of massive damage. Now, like, it's just in the chaos of things and dirty bomb CQC is just. I don't know how useful it is, but luckily I have the M9, so. Whew. She just evaporated there. Well, at least we have a, a Fletcher. We were kind of repairing this EB by hand earlier. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna throw down a freaking concussion grenade. Oh yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna roll. Alright, all right, I'm gonna throw a freaking cock grenade out there. Oops, I kinda blinded myself. Oh shit, that's not friendly. Ooh, 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 they're all coming out. We definitely poked the hornet's nest here. Uh, oh, man. Just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it, man. Stark AR. Stark AR. It, not necessarily the most easy, easiest weapon to use when you're trying to duel someone, but what is this guy doing? Oh, he's waiting for us to come with him. Um, definitely not the easiest thing to use to duel, but it's really strong if you... Uh, could just oh god land those headshots can we just tap it a little bit come on uh, I don't think we have it yep Ugh. let's just do another match let's do more of a round because this is only half a round right I got I gotta warm up gotta warm up failed Get out of there. 17 and 7. Maybe I'm too hard on myself. Maybe this is actually a pretty decent weapon and I'm just expecting to go god mode. Uh, but, you know, I just I just don't know how I feel about this gun. It just doesn't feel good. You know, I feel like part of using a 
a, a, a gun like this in a video game is, is so it feels cool. Like the tech kind of feels cool. The MK46 feels cool. It's Stark. Stark is just like. So we're in a match here, and uh, as you can see, the Stark AR looks quite cool with the little cobalt. I believe this is the shard variant. As you guys may or may not know, cobalt has two variants: fragment, which is the platinum color, and then you have shard, which is this um, this blue color. Between the two, I personally like the full blue, the shard, or no, the fragment. I don't even remember which one. The, the full blue version, because that's like very bluish. It's very cobalty, right? I mean, you think cobalt, you think blue, not platinum, but I don't know. <clears throat> I guess a cobalt's a cobalt, right? Now, if only they had like cobalt knives, that'd be so awesome, like a blue knife. I'd, I'd, I'd take that, but. I digress. Um, Alright, let's camp this corner here. Poke some heads. Get concussed. Get concussed. Uh. Ooh, 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 ooh. 36 health. Yeah. The Stark is great when you can track heads. If you can, it's god friggin' awful. That's their strike. Gonna back up a little bit. Ooh, he's pretty low. I'm gonna back up though, get some get some ammos. Now the really cool thing, oh shit, I was gonna say, the really cool thing about Thunder is that most of his loadouts will come with the M9, which is probably my favorite gun pistol. Uh, maybe not my favorite, but it's definitely one of the best. I mean, like, what, 15 rounds of of pistol damage? pistol deliciousness? What am I even saying? I don't know, it's getting late guys, I'm sorry about this, just a little, a little late, you know. Uh, but I do plan on releasing this later on down the road, so maybe by the time you guys watch this... Oh god, see, this is this is where the Stark is very bad. Like, I can't just track, I can't track him. Alright, let's try this again. Nice! <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about, though. You can't, it's not fully automatic, so you kind of have to time the burst with when you'll be shooting the gun and what, you know, it's kind of weird. Anyways, let's try this again. Oh, they got it. Alright, let's try to defend here. Come on. Oh man, we gotta do this by hand. We have no NGs. No, we have Fletcher. Why can't I see anything? Dual the sawbones. Oh, never mind. He's almost dead. All right, let's uh, let's finish him. Let's get to the environment. Oh man, Stark is quite nice. I mean, it it, it it's pretty good at almost any range. It's just a little tricky at close range. It's a little tricky. But luckily, since the containment war update, they have patched it uh, so that you can uh, kind of spam it a bit better. You know, so you don't like lose out, you don't oversample it. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> well, he, he was fighting like all of us at once, so. A lot of assists, a lot of kill assists. Oh, that's an airstrike! Oh my god, did you guys hear those friggin' headshots? Bling. It's music to my ears. Music to my ears. Oh man. Alright, maybe maybe this Dark Arrow is not too bad. I mean, I am playing a min 10 server, so you know these guys aren't like completely clueless. It, it does take some adjusting to- uh, I'm so dead. I, it does take some adjusting, you know. 
Yeah. Drop that health station. Come on, shoot, shoot. Oof, God. God damn. No. No way. No freaking way. Come on, go, 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 go. You know, I actually wouldn't mind a Timic Thunder. I know you guys are thinking, oh my god, Candy, don't you not like the Timic? Well, honestly, using the M41, like, day in and day out on all my freaking mercs, Skyhammer, Fragger, Stoker, it's gotten a bit stale. It's gotten a little bit stale. So, Timic 47, while it's definitely not as consistently awesome as the M41, I, uh, you know, I, I'm getting converted. I'm getting converted. I'm just gonna throw this out there just to piss them off. All right, I'm gonna back up now. How am I doing? Eh, pretty decent. Second on the scoreboard. Oh, this motherfucker! If I can guess where she is. Nope. Oh God. See here, I can use your mini map. Sometimes the uh, the blind doesn't blind you all the way, so you can still use your mini map, which is nice. Alright. Close one. Gonna need some ammo soon. Gonna need some ammo soon. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go down to the basement. Important thing to note is know where all the ammo stations are. Dual. Well, he did get me with a concussion, but I'm pretty sure I would have been able to take him out too with the Stark. That's the thing, once you land those headshots with the Stark, it's like ridiculously strong, but if you don't, it's like ridiculously weak. Yeah. Ah, uh, the Stark AR, man, it, it makes me concentrate so hard I can't even commentate. It's just one of those weapons that requires a ridiculous amount of aim to make to work. Oh, come on. Can I just talk about the M uh, MA42 loadout, 24 loadout, whatever? Whatever the one has uh, that has the uh, MK46 with spares and drilled. Spares is such a ridiculously good uh, augment on this guy. I mean, it's rather crazy. Because he burns through the ammo so quickly, you know? Less so in the Stark, though, because it kind of just... Right, I took him out, but I won't be able to finish him. Come on, cook that thing. Concussed. No! No, Kenny, no! Why'd you kill me? I was doing so good there. 57 more seconds. Woohoo! Uh, so how do I feel about the Stark? It's... Ah, uh, so conflicted, you know? I mean, like, this whole... This whole game is like, if I can land the headshots, great. But if I can't, it's like... What a freaking shit show. Like... Like, maybe I should be Sogopi in here, right? With this freaking tube scope thing. Oh my god. That's a freaking proxy. Oh, proxy's gone. Alright, let's try to get a couple kills from here before this game match. The match ends. Okay, killed Kenny. Oh, that's what I mean though! Look at that! It's a freaking long range shotgun if you land all the headshots. Oh, <laughs> of course. Oh, nice. I'm back up. Oh, well. Well, that was a good game. Man. Well, there you guys have it. One and a half matches with the Stark AR. How do I feel about it? Still, ugh, it's like conflicted. I, I I don't know how I feel about this. 26 and 6. All right. You know, I, I obviously didn't do that bad with the Stark AR, but this just doesn't feel good. I don't know. I'm really hoping that um, I get a bunch of cases from the Black Friday sale 
this is this, I'm recording this video before Black Friday, and maybe just maybe if they have a good deal, I'll buy a shit ton of cases and try some trading ups. But uh, in case you guys are wondering what the loadout looked like, kind of pull it up here for you guys. Uh, disconnect from this game, yes, not Dirty Bomb. That would be bad. Actually, yes, we have to unbox this. This is our ceremonial unbox. Let's. Yep, lead, of course, ceremonial lead card. Uh, uh, yeah, I traded in a couple of nice cobalts for this stupid card. <laughs> so sad. Stark AR, M9, Beckel Knife, Focus, Spares, and Exploding Dendron. The Exploding Dendron, I don't know what it does with the concrenades because it's so complicated. You know, the concrenades have to do with distance and your orientation of where you're looking at it and. It's just weird, so I'm not exactly sure what it does, if it's even that useful. Probably not, but it comes with spares, comes with focus, not a bad loadout. There you guys have it. That's the, uh, this is my giant backpack. Oh, I keep on my sunglasses, because I, uh, because I keep conking myself. And, uh, this is the loadout that I want in Cobalt. It looks sexy as hell in, in, in gold. I mean, it's red. I mean, look at this thing. But it's not in Cobalt. Come on, it's got to be in Cobalt. I don't know. I don't know. MA42 Revised Gunner. So good. Such a good loadout card. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Stark AR, especially with Thunder. Now, do you think it's a good weapon on him? Do you think it's a good weapon at all? Um, you know, do you prefer it over the BR-16? What are your thoughts? And actually, what is your favorite primary with Thunder? Do you like the Timic, or do you like the Stark, or do you like the uh, LMG, the MK-46? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me in and let me go, honestly, try honestly.